Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here and today I'm going to show you how to build your own go-kart in Fallout 76 plus I'm issuing a build challenge so stick around at the end of the video and we'll cover the details of the challenge. You can enter to win a Amazon gift card. So let's jump on in. To start our cart build we're going to begin with the wheels and they are very important for setting up how we are going to build our height of our cart. Now what I'm doing is I'm building up a false wall to place a wall clock onto. The clock is going to be our wheel and it needs to be attached to the top of the stash box. So once you place the clock double check this by picking up the top stash box and the clock should be attached to it. Now once you've done that you're going to have to build two of these, one with the clock offset to the left and one with the clock offset to the right. And then blueprint these so that you have them for symmetrical reasons and also so that if for some reason you accidentally store something, scrap something, you don't have to fight with this again. Now once you have the tire, grab it, the stash box, and put it on the edge of a foundation where you want the build to cart and then adjust the height of the foundation so the wheel is just touching the ground. And this will set the build height for our frame. Now we're going to build the frame starting with a conduit hanging off the edge of one of our foundations. The frame will be a group of conduits um, floating over the terrain and it's important that we have the conduit nodules included in the frame because later we're going to put some rugs on them so that we have something to place the rest of our car on top of. Now um, let's go ahead and finish up the frame and I'll give you a look at what that looks like completed once we've put that all together. Okay and this is what it should look like when it is complete. Now from there we're going to want to place some rugs over each of the area um, of the conduit nodules starting with the wheel axle. So four, um, one on each wheel axle. And then we're going to want to put one up at the front and one all the way to the back. And this is later where we're going to put our wheels on top of the frame, also our bumper and our engine in the back. Okay, and this is what that should look like once you've got it complete. Now that the frame is built, let's add one more platform to the mix, and that's going to be this mattress, and it's from the build menu of beds, obviously. And I like to line that up with the two front rugs that are on the front axles. And then we're going to use this as a platform to place our seats. And you're going to want to uh, check the seat if you use a bench like this one to make sure it's facing the correct direction. You don't want to end up with um, the you know bench facing the wrong way. Now we're going to make our dash. And I'm going to do some compounding merging going on here. So what I'm doing is I'm merging a uh, radio with a bookshelf. And then I merged it down a little bit, and now I'm going to merge this uh, radio uh, alarm clock into it as well. But I wanted them at different heights, so I started the merge for the radio first. And then now that I have that right, we need to worry about the grill of the car. And we're just doing something basic with this coffee table. And then I'm going to put a conduit into this cooler, and that's going to kind of be the grill of the car. And before I merge this further into the coffee table, we're going to go ahead and attach the electrical wires because once we merge this stuff, um, it's going to collide with a bunch of things. So what we want to do now is um, prepare our dash for its final stage before we merge it with that uh, front end of the car. I'm going to put this uh, free states sign on the back of it so that it doesn't just have this opening on the back. But um, it is finicky so you're gonna have to fight with it maybe a little bit to get that to go. But once you get it, go ahead and place that on top of the coffee table 
and make sure you center it up before we start our final merge of this object to make the front end of our car. So we end up with something like that. And then I had to fight the train a good amount here to get it to do the merge, but eventually I do get it. Uh, the biggest thing here is to be very careful with your merge or else you're gonna have to restart it. But this is the look we're going for with those lights barely touching the bottom of the coffee table inner shelf. We're gonna place that on the front of our frame for it to be the front end of the car. And we're gonna put that right up against the front of our mattress. And as long as we put our rugs in the right place, you shouldn't have any problems placing that. Now let's go ahead and add our little rumble bench to the big mix. And um, again, I'm gonna double, double check this uh, seat and make sure it's accessible that the game's gonna allow me to sit in it. All right, so that seems to be working as intended. Uh, we forgot to add our um, steering wheel to this, so we're going to add it. But you want to do this after you've merged everything, or else it would be sinking and moving when we did that merging. So that's why we waited till the end to add that. Now we're going to start adding our wheels to the build. And we need to grab one for each one of our blueprints and move it over to the rug. And those rugs are going to help them place and you want them kind of just like slightly hanging over the edge near where we built those axles with our frame. And then you're going to repeat for the other side of the build. Again, if you built these blueprints, you're in good shape. All you got to do is place the blueprints, grab the tire, and move on. Uh, without the blueprints, you're going to be fighting it to, one, place the clock where it attaches to that stop top stash box and two to get it symmetrical with the other side of the car so please remember blueprint the tires before moving on okay so now we have our wheels attached to the frame and we're just going to get things lined up and uh, now we're pretty much on the home stretch uh, let's go ahead and um, we're going to merge some balloons into our engine here because well, I got this idea from Mario Kart, and uh, the balloon battle is one of my favorite modes in Mario Kart. So we're going to make it look like we're having a balloon battle with our cart here. So I'm going to add some flare to the back, just so it doesn't seem like it's empty, by putting these skulls back here. And then we're going to want to finish up the front uh, frame and the side frame. Um, I'm going to add these little accents to give some elevation to the back of the car. And we're going to do that same thing on the other side, keep things nice and symmetrical. All right, cool. And then for the front, we're going to balance these coolers. And then, well, we've got some visitors, so let's take care of them. All right, back to what we we're doing. Let's add cooler, and we're going to have a balancing act on this frame up front. And this is just going to give us a transition from our front bumper to the side of the car. And then let's go ahead and get our electrical squared away for our front headlights. The biggest thing with running wires to do the headlights is um, it colliding with different parts of the vehicle. So you may have to move some things. Uh, I did some other examples that I'm going to show you here in a minute. And for them, I had to, you know, use a flamethrower to get things out of the way temporarily for uh, wiring to go through, that sort of thing. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you can use lights that don't require the wires, then that's probably the better option than using these uh, light boxes like I did. But I worked through it, and we're going to make it work for our example here. Okay, so now we have lights, and this is our finished product. We have one nice go-kart with our chair functioning so we can sit in the driver's seat. And uh, that's your example for the challenge. Um, so let's move into what the challenge is. Hello, Road Warriors, and welcome to the Vladministrator Gaming Go-Kart Build-Off Challenge. I'm challenging you to create your own go-kart and enter it for a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Build your cart in Fallout 76, then post some screenshots to Instagram and tag me, Vladministrator Gaming. All submissions must be tagged so I get notification and review your submission. 
You can also submit them by sending a direct message to me in Discord, Vladministrator. You can find both my Instagram and Discord user info in the description to make sure your submission goes to the correct location. Every contest needs rules, so let's go ahead and make those clear. First, submissions must be made by midnight Eastern Time on June 16th. Submissions must not include content that discriminates or marginalizes anybody based on gender, race, sexual orientation, nationality, or other characteristics. No mods, hacking, or image doctoring are allowed. Suspected violations will result in disqualification of the entry. Builds must use the conduit frame as their base as shown in my example build. Top 5 submissions will be showcased for community feedback and a winner declared on June 22nd. Submitting your image authorizes it to be used by Vlebministrator Gaming for current or future content. Winner will be notified via Instagram or Discord direct message and must reply with their email for prize redemption. There we have it. The challenge is laid out. The rules are set. So put on your mechanics jumpsuit and start channeling your inner grease monkey. I look forward to seeing what your submissions come out to be. Good luck, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest from Vladministrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.